Now, the fact that Uganda is a country with a high unmet need for family planning means one thing that many women who want to use family planning do not have access to it. So this means that most are having unwanted pregnancies. And for some, abortion is the only option. She's 19 years old. She says the abortion was not her first choice. But given her circumstances then, it was inevitable. In 2012, aged 18, while working as a waitress, she was swayed by the charms of a customer. And I have unprotected sex. Then he impregnated me. This is commonplace and continues to be according to the executive director, Uganda Youth Development Link. We see many girls going through this and it's unbelievable. Young girls as old as, you know, age as 15, 14, because many of them have their sexual contacts and sex episodes as old as 14. Many, done by men, and who don't want to accept them, deny them. The 19-year-old is one of about 400 of 600 girls these social workers take on almost each year who have had one or more abortions. The reasons for the abortions are not so different. I don't, I don't want to give birth to a child with, without a dad, so it's not good. And I was staying with my sister. I feared her. Some of the major issues we see is partly related to poverty, survival, livelihood, lack of livelihood, and how to manage life. Intoxication on alcohol and drugs has as well been cited as a factor in unwanted pregnancies. When you know you are going to get involved in sexual acts and you take alcohol, you cannot protect yourselves. You cannot protect yourself from sex episodes. And that has been a major common. Because even the statistics shows that 80% of the girls will engage in sex when they are already influenced or intoxicated by alcohol. This girl is not sure of her age, but chooses 20. She's also under the wing of the Youth Development Link. She admits that her first abortion was when she was 13. The second abortion was last year. She says, I found out in the second month that I was pregnant. I bought some pills, but all failed. When I went to a doctor, he said it was because the pregnancy had matured. More money was demanded of me, and he operated. She, like the 19-year-old, was referred by a friend. Rogers Mutawe from UIDEL says that university students have it good. Most of them can afford to pay, to pay, to pay fees to the doctors, who are, who are some of them in private clinics, some of them in private hospitals, to, to do safe abortions. But in most cases, you find that these doctors or these clinics where they go, they, they are never registered in, in those clinics. So that means they, they just go to a, a doctor, say a doctor, he does the job, he does the safe abortion, and you move out, you pay and move out. So the issue is that you have no evidence at all that you can leave or register anywhere. That in case of any problem after, after, after abortion, you cannot have any fallback position. Somehow, Ava are unlucky. They never see the inside of a clinic or hospital, according to Margaret, a social worker at the UIDEL Center in Kamucha. Some of them, they lose their what, their wounds and all that. And I've, I've referred cases to Mulago. They come here, they are like, I feel terrible. I feel, I feel like, as if I'm, I'm rotting inside. Now the State Minister of Health, Primary Health Care, wants abortions to be legalized. The unsafe abortion contributes close to 30% to the maternal mortality in the country. And this is one area that we also need to really address. Because there is no reason for us to keep hiding our heads in the sand when many of our teenage mothers and teenage um, uh, young, young girls are losing their lives because of this unsafe abortion. The current law only allows for special cases at the hands of experienced medical personnel, but this percentage is less and not many know about it. We may not open up like the minister wants to open up today, for me is to relax a bit so that people can go and access medical care. They do it properly in the medical way. We all know that actually the doctors out there, those who go to them and seek for abortion, they are actually helped. Other than doing it, in their own ways, like chewing the nanda, like, you know, getting the, the, that piercing thing and you pierce yourself. The reality is that abortions are still going to happen because many girls are more afraid of pregnancy than HIV. But when they do decide to have an abortion, they need to do it safely. And maybe this will reduce tremendously on the maternal deaths in the country. Florence Nalimba, NTV.